This question says agar is obtained from red algae such as chlorella and spirulina. We have to find out the red algae. Chlorella, it's a green alga. So this option is ruled out. Gelidium and gracilaria, both are red algae. So agar can be obtained from gracilaria and gelidium. C, laminaria and sargassum, both are brown algae. So definitely agar cannot be obtained over here. Anabina and volvox, volvox is green alga. Whereas anabina is blue green alga. So agar cannot be obtained from here too. So the correct option for the given question is option B that is gelidium and gracilaria. Let's move to the next question. This question says the plant parts which are haploid and present inside diploid part are embryo within the seed. Embryo is diploid. Seed is again diploid. Now B, pollen grains within the pollen sac. Pollen grains are haploid. Pollen sac is a diploid. C, seed inside the fruit. Seed is a diploid. Fruit is again diploid. D. Female gametophyte within the ovule. Female gametophyte is haploid. Ovule is diploid. E. Male gametes within the pollen grains. Male gametes are haploid. Pollen grains are haploid. Now, the question is asking about that the haploid structures present inside the diploid. It is both diploid so this option is ruled out. Pollen grains within the pollen sac, haploid within the diploid. Yes, both diploid ruled out. It is also correct as haploid within the diploid. E, both are haploid. So D and B. So the correct option for the given question is option 3. That is B and D. Let's move to the next question. This question says select the incorrect statement. A. Montreal Protocol was signed to control emission of greenhouse gases. This is true. B. There is good ozone in stratosphere. This is also true that good ozone lies in stratosphere whereas bad ozone lies in troposphere. C. The thickness of ozone is measured in Dobson unit. This is also correct statement. D. CFCs or the chlorofluorocarbons does not harm ozone layer. This is false because chlorofluorocarbons harm the ozone layer as they break ozone into molecular oxygen and oxygen atom. So the correct option for the given question is option D that CFCs does not harm ozone layer. Let's pick up the next question. This question says if the length of E. coli DNA is 1.36 mm then what will be the number of base pairs if distance between two consecutive base pairs is 0.34 nanometer. So we can calculate this by applying the formula that length of DNA is equal to number of base pairs into distance between consecutive base pairs 1.36 mm is equal to we have to find out the number of base pairs so we can take it as x and then distance is 0.34 nanometer so x can be calculated as 1.36 divided by 0.34 is equal to x and if you solve x will be 4.0 into 10 raised to the power 6 base pairs. So the correct option for the given question is C. So this is the correct option for the given question. Let's move to the next question. This question is asking nitrogenase is enzyme which converts N2 into NH3. It is inhibited by pigment leg hemoglobin. No. Nitrogenase is protected by the pigment leg hemoglobin as it is sensitive to oxygen. It is oxygen sensitive? Yes. It is found in all prokaryotes? No. It is found in some prokaryotes and these prokaryotes are called the nitrogen fixers. 
the copper containing enzyme no this is iron molybdenum enzyme this is not copper containing enzyme so the correct option for the given question is option b that nitrogenase is oxygen sensitive let's move to the next question <music> 